Can we tap the brakes for a second? Can we tap hmm. the brakes for a second? And um, Oh, gas, no brake, bro. You know how <laughs> How'd that work out? <laughs> Maybe we should tap them. I mean, here we are, Sal. You know, three minutes into the show. And again, I appreciate your enthusiasm because I fight that fight with the Jets. And the, and the, the Mets gave you enough signals over the past couple of days that this year could be different. But do we automatically have to fast forward five or six months? Could be a playoff team. Playoffs back on the table. I have an idea. How about we ju- At least I'll do this. I'm going to choose to do this with the New York Mets. And I was impressed with what they did. Honestly, House of Horrors, division rival at mm-hmm. OJU. You came back basically the, the first two games. One you won, one you didn't. But then you come back, sit in a hotel for an entire day, and you bludgeon them 16-4, to four, whatever the hell it was, where they're using position players to finish up the game. Respect. Mets look good. I don't care about the playoffs. Now, I'm not going to run from the fact that I don't think that they're a playoff team. That's not a diss. That's just the reality, at least my reality, of how I see the Mets. But what I do care about is that I'm finally starting to see, number one, some stones. Number two, some accountability. And number three, and I think this is most important for the Mets fans, and I hope you hear me on this, a different standard. You pitch. You get rocked, guess what? You're off the team. And I think that that's phenomenal. You may have found your third baseman of the future. You very well may have found the future ace once you call up Christian Scott from AAA who looks insane. Forget about the playoffs and just enjoy the little incremental progress. No, I'm not going to do that because I'm with you. My expectations were lower than even the Mets lowered expectations, and I did not think – this team was a playoff team. Now I do think that they have a chance to fight for a playoff spot. I'm not predicting they're going to make the postseason or win the division by any stretch. However, they have shown me the resiliency through these first couple of weeks of the season, being down, you know, 0-5 to start the year, thinking the season was going to be a disaster right from the get-go, never having a season, to bounce back and show resiliency, and then show resiliency within each game in Atlanta, especially the first two games, obviously coming back from down 4 nothing to, you, to your point, a place they never win against a team they never beat. That's a big series win and a swing series. We labeled it a swing series before it took place. We thought it was going to be four games, turned out to be three games, and they won two out of the three, meaning to me it swings it toward the the, the playoff possibility. So I am not going to sit back and just be okay with – by the way, I'm not even okay with just making the playoffs, and I'm on record as saying that. I understand the expectations coming into these this year. That's not good enough to me. You asked me this question flat out. If the Mets make the postseason, will that be a success? And I said, no, because I have higher standards. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear their excuses about a year back and rebuild and this crap or not. I don't I don't get caught up in that. I expect to win every year. Yankees, highest standards, World Series or bust. And that is a team that I can actually do it. The Mets, to me, I don't believe had a team that could even make the playoffs. Now I do. So now it is about the playoffs for me, even under 500 here, showing some toughness early on, not saying they're going to make it, not saying they won't. I'm saying that should be the expectation. And now I expect them to compete for a playoff spot. Anything less would be unacceptable. Okay, so the the whole the higher standard thing to me is interesting because there's a, a big chunk of me. And again, I, I live this with the Jets. I right. get it. I respect the fight. I respect the fact that you, you and others, and me with the Jets, you're not, you're not in your own minds. Like you're not consenting to a not, terminal life of, yeah. of sporting torture. I respect but that. I but I got know, news for you. Yeah, I also got, know where the Mets are at. Well, this that's year. what I was going to say. I got news for you. As much as we could kick and scream the unkillable stuff, you're yeah. right now with the Mets. The Jets aren't the Giants, and the Mets aren't the Yankees. Understood. They're just not. So until the Mets. And the Jets and all the other teams that are wallowing in nothingness in our city, you need to, from from my perspective, day by day, you know, think about Will Ponds versus Cohen. Think about all the GMs that you had. The fa- Stearns, to me, is showing a template for the future. And that is that should galvanize Mets fans. And I know that I, maybe you can do both. Maybe you can en- enjoy the night-to-night well, incremental. Well, it's got to be a carrot. Well, I like, but, but, I, but the not, carrot I'm, is you're playing tonight. The carrot is this week, and you got a chance to take two right. out of three against a decent, young, and improving Kansas City Royals team. But that play should be on fire. Hey, Met fans, go out there. I know you'll support Doc when they raise 16 to the Raptors. Go out tonight. Go out Saturday. Go out Sunday. You just won two series back-to-back on the road, and things are looking up. I'm not – listen, you, you guys could do it. I'm not getting wrapped up in any crazy declarations. Mets are a playoff team. I don't think that they are. They're not, but that doesn't mean I'm not impressed. Right, but also it doesn't mean that the the expectation shouldn't be playoffs. I have changed my mind already on this team because, not because of their record, but because of the fight that they have shown. That, to me, is what's impressive. The fact that they overcame. Like, it's one thing if they started out 
two and four or whatever, like two and three through the first five games, we wouldn't be having this conversation. At 0 and 5, I was feeling like it was over because I already came into the season with low expectations. Then they went even lower than those expectations. And I'm thinking, my God, 0 and 5, they can't even give us a season. They're going to get clobbered in Atlanta like they always do. On paper, they should have. Braves playing well. Look at the Braves lineup. And instead, the Mets go in there and take two of three from that team. Now my expectations are back to where the Mets' expectations were as far as being a playoff team. And I'm just going to sit back and say, oh, it's nice to evaluate Brett Beatty. And, oh, it's nice to see some of the young pitchers in play. No! The expectation, the carrot there should be playoffs. They said it. I didn't believe it. Now I'm starting to be a believer. I'm not going to settle just to sit back and watch this team. Now, you want to enjoy a season, of course, Mm -hmm. and you hope that they could prolong it as long as they possibly can, but I don't see any reason why in the National League this Mets team could not be a legitimate playoff contender. Okay, I don't think their pitching is good enough. That's why I don't think they'll be a playoff team, but let me ask you this, and I I think I know your answer, but I just want to put it out there for clarity purposes. Let's say, and I know it's early, but he looks very different. Brett, you very well might have, you might have your third baseman for the next decade. You might. What did we talk about so, with him? Well, well, Confidence. Well, oh, yes. We talked about that yesterday, and you're right? you're seeing it. You're yeah, seeing we it. We talked about that beginning of the year. But, yes, as the season's gone, he now looks like he, he looks like he feels like he belongs. Okay. So, I agree with that. So, let's just say, and I want to create this thread here. And I want to see if you're as consistent as, as mm. yeah, I, you know, I don't know if you'll be consistent. I'm actually just curious what you say. So, Brett Beatty hits, I'm just throwing stuff out, follow Mm -hmm. me, 283 this year, plays a solid third base, you know, bangs 22, 23 home runs, looks to par, OPS 805, 790, ascending, right? Lindor bounces out of this ridiculous, he can't even get a a hit off a a position player at this point, jeez. Lindor bounces back, you know, Alonzo Hammers 40-something, gets the deal, it's fully justified, Nimmo continues to be the player mm-hmm. that you think. Maybe Christian Scott gets called up and flashes real stuff. Diaz is Diaz. What I'm saying is, and Mendoza shows night to night and week to week palpable growth as a manager. But, but, you win, you go 81 and 81, you don't make the playoffs. That's not a success. Absolutely not. I couldn't disagree yeah, more. Absolutely and not. I, can I just tell you why? And right. again, I, I know it's an opinion, so I respect right, it. Right. I don't see it that way, though, because to me, the one thing that you and other Met fans have been clamoring for not just the occasional good season and then it dissipates and it's back yeah, to being the Mets. success. Sustainability. Right. And those things, that's why I specifically mentioned like Beatty and the manager, right, but- Young, and Alonzo getting a deal and Christian Scott coming up. Because if you go in the neighborhood of 80 wins and 80 and 82, 81 and 81, mm-hmm. but you don't make the playoffs, which I know you'd love to do, I get that, and you tell me it's it's a failure or or it's not a success, which is basically the same thing, I think you guys are nuts. Well, because I think this could have been a 67-win season, right. and everybody's gone, and you dismantle and trade everybody right. but, by the trade deadline. But, but it is consistent. Which I think is still on the table. Right, but you're also somebody who says that if the Yankees don't make the World Series, you could see it being a success. And I said, no way. Well, so because we, we you, you it's know. It's just different levels of how we view it. Like, yeah. I don't even, I, truth be told, I don't even think making the playoffs, I just said it, I don't even really think making the playoffs is a success. That's not something I'd be taking bows for if I'm the Mets or anybody else. Oh, we made the playoffs. Oh, big deal, you made the playoffs. You're supposed to go try to win the World Series. That's what the Mets' payroll is. That's where this team was at the last two years. So this is a step back. But if you're telling me to not make the playoffs, period, absolute disaster of a season. Disaster. Now, now it doesn't mean that they can't have sustained success moving forward. Yeah. But, yeah, absolutely. Wow. No playoffs? Come on. That's embarrassing. Mets fans getting greedy. Yeah, I'm not lowering my expectations for anybody. Our friends at Town Fair Tire remind you that at Town Fair Tire, you always get the guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. BT and Sal on the fan. Clem is in Rockland. What's up, Clem? Hey, good morning, guys. Love the show. Uh, BT, I love you, brother, but like the weather lately, you're trying to dampen us, man, and we won't have it. Sal, look deep. Sal Stradamus, I need you to look deep into the crystal okay, ball. Okay, let, me, let me close my eyes, yes. Yes, please. Will will the Mets be making the playoffs? Is it time to go to FanDuel and, mm. and put some money down? Sal please, look Stradamus, deep into those crystal balls. Sal yes. Stradamus says... Hell yes! Hell yes! Clem, they're going to the playoffs! Let's go! Dan Cohen! Dan Cohen! The Mets are back, Clem! Who? Wait, but who? Who? Stevie P! The Mets are back! Can't call him king yet. Not, I'd be pleased. He's still the philanthropist until yeah. he earns the Cohen, uh, the king, the king tag. Let back. us have our moment. King Cohen! 
it's so much more fun than it, it is. It's yeah. such a downer what I say. Just the tone, yeah. the inflection. <laughs> King Cohen, you're going you're, up. God, I, philanthropist, will, I'm going down. I will, certain things I won't give way to. I will admit your accuracy with Stevie P is more on point than mine with King Cohen. So far, for the moment, yeah. So far, there, no, listen, there I'm not going to take bows. Yeah. I, I want to no, see him. I, listen, there's nothing more than I would love than to be on the air. You know, for the next how many years together, and the Yankees and the Mets are truly Agreed. chasing World Series championships yeah, simultaneously. Understood. We both want the same thing. And truth be told, like obviously I'm having fun there with Clem and getting caught up. If I like if I had now, I, I would want to root for the Mets to make the playoffs, so I would never bet against them. But I can't sit here confidently on whatever today's date is, April 12th, to April twelfth, hey. and say that the Mets are gonna be a playoff team. But I can say that already through the first twelve games my opinion has changed from where it was before the season, where it was after the first six games even of the season, because even though they won that game against Detroit, they were lucky to win that first game yes, of the season. Yes, yes, that road yes. trip, specifically the way that they played in Atlanta, changed the way I view this team, where my biggest criticism of them for years has been I felt like they were soft and they didn't show any fight or mm-hmm. toughness. Well, that was shown. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to be sustainable, but I saw that toughness, and they're starting to win me over. And I do think, like Clem, if you are a Met fan, you should start to get excited, especially with this weekend, with Doc being honored. Like, you know, go encourage Lindor. Go out to the ballpark. Have some fun. Hopefully the weather is good there for these three games. And the Mets could give us something here and get their season going in the right direction. I want to flip it this way. All right, so let's say, and by the way, awesome job by the Knicks. We'll get to him a little later. Mm-hmm. But I just want to use this as a point of reference here say the Knicks get the two seed or or don't either way uh, and they they win the first round they win round two and they lose in a in a tough tightly contested six game series to the number one seed Boston Celtics do you consider that a success for the Knicks probably okay so now that is that to me that is inconsistent right. because every pundit thought the Knicks would be a playoff team yeah. this year and if they do what I just scripted in a lot of ways that's that's overachieving especially right. with the injuries but nobody thought that the Mets would be a playoff team but here you are telling me if that's if not they, true that nobody well, thought that a lot of people, the Mets themselves said that they expected to be a playoff you know, team. Well, I, I get well, I understand the Mets said that but but what did every bookie say oh a lot of people that, were saying the Mets were gonna be who, a playoff who? team. well as we get closer I don't know anybody closer on the, the station that thought they'd be a playoff Oh, team. so what is that? What barometer no, but, does that but, mean? Well, I, no, well, it doesn't mean that it's the ultimate barometer. What I'm saying is it was not popular. I'm not saying nobody. Okay, I should take fine. that back. Yeah. It, the general consensus okay. right. was that the Mets but, but, were not a playoff team. Right. So if they narrowly miss out or if they get there and they lose in a series like they did against the Padres, how is that not a success but the Knicks would be when people thought the Knicks would be good? Well, because, that seems inconsistent Because to me. the Knicks lost their second best player in Julius Randle. Okay. And the Knicks, to so me— So the Mets lost their race so far. To me, if they— The Mets lost their race yeah, so far. Yeah, but he'll be back. It's well, a, it's we a totally, don't know if he's going to be back. It's a totally different— Different circumstance. If I would look at teams maxing out, if a team maxes out, there's really not much more I could do. Like the Yankees ceiling, their max out would be get to the World Series, yeah, or, or and, and then and then win. Yeah, yeah right. Just but, get but, there, and, but yeah. And, I, and I said even less than winning it, which is their max. Just getting there. Yep. I, I, I don't. Even if they lose it, you can't go nuts. I got to see if Gary Cole comes back. Well, whatever. But, but, but point to me, taken. To keep me, going. Okay. So for the Mets, I, like they're maxing out to me is the playoffs. Like, now, I don't accept that going into a year, but the reality is they're maxing out, and yep. it may even be lower than that, but, like, if they made the playoffs, I don't think you could go nuts about them losing in the first round, whatever it may I, be. I wouldn't. Right. I, I, I would I know. love the Mets. I, I would say that's an amazing job. Right. And they're so two you're steps saying, ahead of where I think right. they really are. Well, that's what I'm saying. So you would accept even 81 and 81 uh, because I mean, you think they're maxing out. <sighs> The Knicks, they're maxing out to me without Julius Randle. While I'm not going to put a ceiling on what they could do now because Brunson is a superstar, yep. you also can't say, well, you didn't get past the Celtics and you, the season's a failure. Like, nobody expected them to be better than the Celtics coming into the year, and especially without Julius Randle. So it's just different okay, levels I, of— Okay, I respect that. But now let's go back to the night that Julius Randle took his tumble. If I said mm-hmm. to you, you know, and, and we, we actually did text that night— uh, if I said, I, and I'm pretty sure I said it on the air the next day, but we never, we didn't know how long he'd be out. Mm-hmm. So if I said to you the next day, hey, Sal, Randall will not play another second the rest of the year. Right. Uh, but the Knicks will be the two seed, but they will lose in seven games in round two. Now, you, you don't think that that changes the process of evaluation? Like, that's not similar to the Mets overachieving this year? I think it's the same thing. Randall's all NBA. Yeah. I, I, I'm still, I'm not sure what you're saying about the Knicks in round two against who you said the Celtics. Well, I, but then I changed it. Okay. I went from the Celtics right. to, let's say they lose 
to, I don't know, Giannis in the bye, if Giannis is back, whatever, yeah. but they uh, fall if, short. If they, if they lose to anybody other than the Celtics or the Bucks okay. in the second round, I think the next season has been a disappointment. I think that, that even without Randall. Correct. I think that that's probably yeah. fair, and I probably agree with that. I just feel like... Especially the way they've been playing. I feel like you're... They should be able to get to the Eastern Conference Finals now. now yeah, yeah, and we'll get to them yeah. more later, but, I, I, but back to the Mets, I feel like you are... And I don't know if it's like inner resistance to just, you know, being the number two baseball team in town no, or no. just tired of losing. I feel like you're very quickly inflating who they are, and and which is fine. I've done that before. But if they fall short, not recognizing what could still be an achievement doesn't make sense to me. If they go 82 I, and I, 80. I'm not, I would never celebrate a 500 I'm not season. saying you pop champagne, but yeah. you wouldn't acknowledge that this is a real big step in the right direction? No, I think that they could take a step in the right direction and also be disappointing. I mean, the, the, the owner himself said it. And well, he I, said a lot of things. Right, but, he but but a championship you, right, in three to five years. But, you're going backwards well, but, until maybe this year. Right. I, I'm telling you that I don't even accept the playoffs as a success. So why wouldn't you understand why I wouldn't take not making no, the playoffs? No, no, I do. A, I, I don't understand why you don't think the playoffs would be a success. You should be. For, no, so, for the so Mets, let me I, ask you a question. I so, said for the, for the Mets, I, I, I would this year. No, no. But, but if they lose in the first round? The Mets. I know. If the no, Mets lose in the first round. You, you just said three different things. No, no, Hold on I, a second. No, no, I jumped yeah, for the Knicks and I jumped no, back you, to the Mets. You, no, but when you first said the Mets, you said what I accept if they don't make the playoffs 81 or 82. That's what not I would making accept. The yeah, and I said no way. And then I said I would accept the playoffs. Now, to, to take it further, I would not in general ever accept just getting in. That's what I'm to reacting to because I remember yeah. you saying that right. earlier in the show. Right. So if the Mets get to the playoffs, I know we get a little murkier, right. but, but if they no, get to the it, playoffs year, and they lose, yeah. you don't stamp that an absolute success. No, I think it will be a success this year. I don't accept okay. it, but I do think uh, that that will be a success a this year. I still don't think they're a playoff team, but boy, if the Mets uh if the Mets keep this up, you, you got something more than I thought you had. BT and Sal on the fan. We'll continue with your calls on the other side. 877-337-6666. We'll get to the Knicks a little bit deeper into them coming up a little bit later on. Yanks return to action as well tonight. So you have that to look forward to. Rangers Islanders tomorrow. Going to be a busy week next week with the postseason starting, with the hockey, with the basketball. Looking forward to it. But, of course, baseball and the Mets 